Get on to them, so I can have jokes with them, they tell Jane and tell someone. The phenomenon that uh, I read Raj and I were noticing in uh, uh, this time that Srila Gurdi has pointed out that Srila Prabhupada engaged us in so much our rope siddha bhakti because we were not qualified for swarup siddha bhakti and we actually didn't have any good qualities either to engage in bhakti. We weren't very truthful. We were very kind. We know these things. So we were engaged in so many, and so our our crooked natures were engaged in service. And when Srila Prabhupada left the world, uh, he we thought because his activities were bhakti, we went on doing them, but then they became corrupt. And Gurdjieff really has pointed out so many discrepancies that were there. So now there's a, a phenomenon. Uh, we've noticed in studying some uh, speeches being given by ISKCON leaders, they are trying to stress to the devotees now that they should come to this platform, uh, giving up a rope siddha bhakti, coming to sangha siddha bhakti, developing good qualities, being honest in their dealings with each other and the, material, the people in the material world. So they're trying to elevate. They've seen this problem that a rope siddha bhakti can backfire, it can backfire, it can lead to um, degradation. So they're trying to bring good qualities into the society. But again, we should realize this is still not Srila Bhakti. Srila Gurde gave very good uh, instructions in Kartik that Bhakti is a function of Hiladini Shakti. That means Bhakti is, uh, in its intrinsic nature, is that it's, it's Radharani's own move of serving Krishna. Everything Radharani is doing is designed for serving Krishna. And everything in the spiritual material worlds is all ultimately a manifestation of her energies. And it's coming from Radharani so that she can use it for pleasing Krishna's unlimited desires. Krishna has unlimited desires to be satisfied and Radharani is expert at satisfying all those desires. So she has uh, expanded herself for that purpose. So bhakti is uh, Radharani's own mood of satisfying Krishna's desires. It's purely spiritual. Shuddha sattva. Uh, there's a verse. Shuddha sattva vishay shatma. Prema suri amsa samya bhak. Ruch vish tritamashanya kridaso bhavaruchate. That uh, this Bhav, or spiritual emotion uh, of the sprout of praying, the beginning of praying, is like the uh, ray of sunlight which is coming from the sun of the uh, pure devotee's heart. And when that mixes with the conditioned souls, uh, when that shoots up with that pure uh, mood, mixes with the heart of the conditioned soul, it becomes a taste of ruchi beer. In the, in the heart. These three ruchis, or a mixture of, of taste, uh, are called bhav, and are the beginning of signs of praying. So, actually, bhakti is the pure function of the spiritual senses of the uh, soul. They're not a function of our material mind and body and senses, like a rope siddha bhakti and sangha siddha bhakti. These are things that are performed by material body and mind and senses under the guidance of Guru. And as Sri Gurudev just pointed out, these are the beginning because we have to start somewhere. We don't have our spiritual body and senses, so we have to use our material body and mind and senses to start service under guidance of Guru. The problem is, when we lose the guidance of Guru, we think that those things we're still doing with our mind and senses are still bhakti, then we would be misled and go down. Hare Krishna. some activity and offering the fruits to Krishna. This is the ropes of the Bhakti. So, how about 
a devotee who is not reach that stage where Nandini Shakti is coming and they're performing the activity with material senses, whether Shravana, Kirtan, Vishnu, Swami, Padasetam, etc. They're performing with their material activities and in this way of worshipping the deity, but realization is not there. So in one sense it can be said that there's a super imposition. So sometimes the body say that this is also a ropes of the body when it's not realized. So my question is, what is the situation? Yeah. This question is, <coughs> this question is, if we perform the activities 64 angas, pure bhakti, but we are not realized, we may be somewhat influenced by chakras. Yeah. Yeah. No, it may be constant that I just six that thing and so many mixture of Pandavila Sita already and Yuksa and covered with karma gyan but it's still it is so true. Huh? No, 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 no relation with If anyone chanting Hare Krishna Hare, but it is not good. <coughs> he has so much uh, enmity, duplicity, and other things. But he did it is good. But not this is good. It may be that he will be in Kanishta Vikari, but not even Kanishta Vikari. Or oh, he will not do any of that. Constantly. So, if a man has not been initiated by anyone, ignore it. But he has some sadha, faith in Krishna. He has heard in association. And he is chanting Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Rama. Or oh, even then it is so but not in Kyoto. Your question is answered? Ah. Yeah, if we chant in the beginning, but to have some, but it is in ignorance you are explaining. Aparat is not serious. Like we may identify with our body. Oh, that time, Aparat can be no Aparat. is no. If it is done repeatedly, knowing that it is of hand, then it will be of hand. And in ignorance, it is done. Then it is like a bad car. It can be refined, it can be pure. But knowingly doing, again and again, and Vaishnava are telling you should not do this. You should not go. Against this principle of bhakti principle. Uh, you don't criticize. You know, this is offense. Offense and offense. You should be careful. In any way. What? What if one is chanting mantra that is received from someone who has that guru? Is that still true to bhakti? What? from any guru who is not a sub-guru. Is his chanting mantra then still a sub Yes. Yes, sir. But not true. No. It may give some effect. One, his all comes will be good and they can be in many position and all of them. But not bhakti. Go Pramana Viva! Oh, yes. 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 O
Mostly, I should have heard you know, should run hard to say, we really won't speak so much in the morning if by any chance we get such mercy that you'll give. And in the absence of that, then there'll be a class at 7 30 given by Shamrani Nandasi every day. So many calls. So many from 7.30 and 10.30 and 3.30. We'll make a schedule tomorrow, you can post. There's some liturgy that's already been posted. You can uh, see that the general schedule has specific names and who's giving classes. We wanted to stress there's so many classes, you don't have to attend every single one that you wish you can attend. So from 7.30 and then 10.30, especially Matter of March starting from Thursday, 10.30 we'll be giving classes. Then again at 3.30 in the afternoon. So, and then also Nagasangitan will be doing tomorrow 2.30 from here uh, in La Jolla, this local. And then also Wednesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. Okay, so La Jolla tomorrow, also Saturday. Huh? This will be posted tomorrow. It'll be Nagasangitan, really very much stressing we can do good Nagasangitan. We'll post everything for that tomorrow. Also, registration for those of you who haven't registered yet. Govinda Dasi, I'd like to thank her so much for her efforts. She will be sitting at reception. We will go uh, devotees here in, in San Diego, this uh, part devotees. Uh, Matilda Deesh Prabhu, Jayant Prabhu, Upananda Prabhu done so much work and uh, expense uh, to facilitate this festival. So if you can register please and contribute the best way you can. She will be there throughout the whole week uh, collecting uh, the festival donations. Um, so then classes, uh, yeah. registration, Prashad will serve at the appropriate times and just recently latest information is uh, in the ropes in the back to pick these flowers and offer them to Krishna. Don't pick flowers from the hotel. This is and right through his premises. This is definitely not serves to the back to you. get no benefit for the Give up the ropes to the back to Don't pick flowers from the garden. Please do get them from any shop or like that. And this is request by my party boys are taking flowers. Uh, yeah, if we want to come again to these nice places, uh, then we have to very much honor uh, developers of the city of and honor these places, honor the... Hmm. Very, very true. Yes. And we have, we have a hotel management here, and they are watching us. Alita, Alita, she's here. She's so happy to be here. So we did our festival here. We did honor the residents also. Very conservative area with very sweet people also. We can honor them. And uh, also, when we do these night assignment tents, we have leaflets and so many things we can do to attract people to come. So please have a very good festival. Gurudev will come when he can, so much especially in the evening, and if he can't come in the mornings, he will do so. Go Primo! <laughs> traveling through different universes and different species of lives. And one who is fortunate, he received um, by mercy of Guru, then there's the Bhakti Lata Beach, the seed of devotion. So this seed of devotion, this is Shraddha. It has the internal aspect and external, this Bhakti Lata Beach. The external is Shraddha, this faith that we have described, Shraddha Shakti Vishishkana Sri Nadi's And the internal 
is Krishna Seva Bhasha. So, this Krishna Seva Bhasha means the desire to serve Krishna. And this is inherent within the heart of all living entities. Srila Krishna Kavaraj Goswami has also explained Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhu Kavanam Shravan Hadishu Chitin Koroi Udoi that this um, Krishna Prem that it is inherent within all the entities Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhu Kavanam Shravan Hadishu Chitin Koroi Udoi that how is it awoken? It is awoken by the process of hearing and chanting, just as Guru has explained, Satan Prasadam Nama Vyu Samhido, that one who comes in contact with bona fide Sadhguru, that he is speaking very sweet Harikata, but it is not just words, but Shabda Brahma, transcendental sound. Such Sadhguru, he is empowered with Sarup Shakti, and when that Sarup Shakti emanating from his heart, comes from his lips and manifests in the form of transcendental sound, Shabda Brahma. Then it enters into the ear and into the heart of that devotee who is listening um, attentively in a submissive form. And in this way, there is an um, awakening of that dormant love of God which is within the heart. This process is the transmission of Sarup Shakti which um, awakens this shadha, shadha which is within the heart of the devotee. So it is not that Sadhguru is giving shadha, but rather he is awakening that which is your dead. Paraguru dead, he gives the example. Without mercy of Sadhguru, then there is no question of this shadha which is dominant within the heart of the living entity and being awoken. So the example is given that at the Paramakurde, Shri Bhakti, Nitya Nila, Vishnu, Vishnu, Padastu, Parasutra, Shishma, Shri Bhakti, the Ganakeshi, the Samaraj. He gives the example that if one goes on the bank of the Ganges and plants many different types of seeds, mango seed, guava seed, neem seed, orange, and then you bring water and then you water these seeds. Then in due course of time, with water, with sunlight, air, these different ingredients, then these seeds, they will start to sprout. And they will not all be the same, but according to what seed is there within the ground, with proper conditions, then that particular seed will manifest. So in the same way, the living entity has an eternal relationship with the Supreme Lord. Jivaras Rupahoy Krishna Nitya Das. What specific type of Nitya Das, eternal servant, that is there and it is awoken by this process of submissive hearing and surrendering at the Lotus Feet of Sun. Maybe Matyamadika says, yes, yes, no more. But this would be qualified. Really, Matyamadika, a renounce should be there. Or this attachment for worldly thing should be there. And then, Shabdha. But it's a Daitor. So much faith in the verse of Shastra, like Gita, Bhagavad and others. So much faith in the words of Vaishnava and so much faith in the words of Krishna. This is external symptom of and internal desire to serve Krishna. If you desire to serve Krishna, but no faith in the words of 
Vaishnava Guru and Shastras, then that desire is not perfect. Upogas. If Sadha will be there, then what to tell? If he had not even Guru, what he will have? words of Shastra, Krishna and Krishna. Of this faith, with this faith, hearing Hari Katha, or now he will be standing. I must have a Guru. And that Guru will be one of us. If there is no from a strong faith, it may be that a Bhagavad Guru you can select. This Guru will not be perfect. You have some faith in Shastra. And you think that I must be happy. How happy? With worldly things. And for this, you are searching a Guru. Krishna will not help you. According to the Lord, he will be a Guru. And then you can choose Bogus Guru instead of high class of one of our Guru. So, this Shraddha, if real Guru is, he has not achieved. When it will be after second sadhana, he will think a need of having a Guru, one of them. And then, Hajan will come. Read Shraddha. And then, Offering your something to the feet of Guru, Sadguru. And by this, by his advice and guidance, if you will do bhajan, then an option is to be made. Otherwise, no. Never and never. So, bring bhajan and bhajan. Oh, this is Pratha bhajan. And morning bhajan, sadhana. Pitha nartha ne vritti. Try to, try to give up on us and for this he will be chanting in the night. Then it will be prata bhajan. And after this, Purvanta bhajan will come. And that is nishtha bhajan. Nishtha bhajan means? What is steadiness? No ruchi, no taste in it. But we know that without bhajan we cannot be happy. So, anas are there for samba. No taste has come, not taste has come. But even steadiness, I will do bhajan, do or not. Then you, like Dhruva. I may not product, Guru. Yes. He has not made me that. Oh, but I must meditate oh, Supreme Law. Krishna said, Messenger, like Narakarishi, and go and taste. It is Oh, he was. Yeah. Very strong. So, <coughs> now Krishna told that, oh, then you should keep Diksha and Mantra and some process. And he gave. And very soon he took the son of Nara. But what did he desire for? So he. 
kingdom of Albert for 36,000 years and Christ is then disappeared. He was living in this. What I did? I was searching some broken glasses and eyes. But I neglected. And then it was. So, this is the thing. With a mist. Oh, no test, but yet, history. I must do. I must turn from black money. I must. After that, I mean, take water on him. Thank you. No test. He sleeps. But he thinks that, oh, if I am sleeping, then I cannot do. So he hangs his sick off anywhere. So he does. Anyhow, this is for you, sir. And Madhyana Vajam, Madhyana Mitri Vajam, Ruchi Vajam, Ruchi. If Ruchi comes, not so much people. But Ruchi, Taste comes. If there is taste, no idleness, no sleeping, not all good. And after some time, oh, upper and mother, in after no, that is Krishna Shakti come. Asakti to, first asakti to, attachment to, and then object of bhaja, Krishna. All very good. Anatha, gun, most of the anatha is gun. Some, some, smelly. On anatha, now sleepy. But if they will have charms, they may have very little charms. But they will charm. Like her, like others. Then they fall. Then shine bhajan. Bhav bhakti. Bhav bhakti. What is bhav bhakti? I will define after. And then, Pradosh, some darkness. And then, Vipralam Vapare. Vipralam means telling separation. Vedi Nadayatrana, He Mathura Nath Kada Valokya Se, Hidayam Kada Alu Kapasa. Daisa Bhagyati Imsaram Unar Vasari Bhagyati I didn't have to do it. Unar Vasari Bhagyati Tan Bhakti is not to do it. Uvaiti is not to do it. Masamana As Gopi are feeling separation Oh, he is in some situation. I am very far away from Krishna. I cannot survive my life. You know, you. Like this. This is separation. Vipralam Bhakti. Now, after Rati, Prem is from Bhav. Prem is from Bhav. And then Rati Bhajan. Some go praying with love and affection. Sometimes in bhajan, Krishna comes. 
all gopis coming, in all the extra ocean, and he is taking, seeing everything, and it is true. What? Oh my God. I am starting to draw down Krishna like this. This. And Radha and Krishna are together and he has heard him. This. So, this is the age of. But these sadhana are divided into three. Sadhana Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti. Why three? Why not two? Sadhana Bhakti and Prema Bhakti. Bhav Bhakti is different from Sadhana Bhakti. And also different from Prema Bhakti. So we must accept this all Rupa Goswami has told this. In Sadhana Bhakti, so much anarth is out there. And yes, of pain and, and so many things. Oh. In this sadhana. But in pain, nothing less. He is unaware of all these things. Worldly things. No pain. No pain. Nothing. But in how there may be some coming some obstacles. Obstacles. But he overlooks. At the time of how it may be so many things become obstacles for how sound. But he not able to mention. By any of them. But in Premi, that is not like when Sukhdev Goswami was in the second position. He never had any but me. So, <coughs> this is half of the we must accept. Even sadhana has been divided into two by the bhakti and what is by the bhakti? bhakti? By the bhakti is described as that we engage in the activities of living, shooting, associating with devotees, but our faith is dominated by fear for the rules and instructions given in the Shastra. If I don't do this, oh, I will not attain bhakti, or any reactions will come. So out of fear, he is following the process of sadhana bhakti. From the process of hearing about bhakti, one is awakened and follows out of a sense of duty or out of a sense of fear only. There is no strong attachment or natural uh, awakening of that dormant uh, shraddha. It's just a sense of duty or obligation based on fear. If anyone has greed, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Tarita, Mati Priyatam Ito Pijati Nathati, Tatra Laudya Mati Vilja Vedikala, Janma Koti Sukhati Vilja. Bhakti can be attained by what? Sukhati Vilja. And that's a less Sukhati. 
if it is so strong then sadhu sangha and by sadhu sangha bhakti yes but this sadhu sangha oh if a great comes to serve krishna like sapa sura sura madhuranga like nandavali sura like to this greed is so so angry that even the supridi of lax and lax but but who can be this really it is very great i have read any fair in the books of swami ji the bhakti ke naam se that if a man in like this have come to this position krishna bhakti rasa bhakti tamati priya tam to ki kati and if he had attained this then he is oh what krishna bhakti he is the member of krishna other by not So if anyone is like this, then he is on real. Otherwise, not, and they can never be performed. Never. So <coughs> if anyone has not greed, actually, and he follows the directions of Shastra. without bhajan oh serving father mother wife has been children and oh uh, what desh bhakti love of country country they desh the love of you will have to go if you are not doing bhajan of krishna then you will have to go in hell So <laughs> I must do bhajan, but no taste, nothing is there. He is doing some bhaksha, sangha. Then it is called bhaydi, bhaydi. So sadhan or bhaydi and raga. If he has greed, actual greed, bona fide greed, then that is called raga yoga bhajan. And without the money falling, the principle is strictly which of Shastra that is the actual meaning. Really, Shastra is Raga Nuga. This is Shastra. Then what is Shastra? Kriti Shastra. Bhavi Shastra Bhava. Shastra Nuga. Nitya Siddha Shastra Bhava. Do you think that it is very hard subject? You want to hear Hari speak past times or days? Very important subject. Important subject. But somehow someone are sleeping. So. I'm not sleeping, but to do. A medicine should be given.
it is is performing the angas of bhakti so like the nine angas before the and getting paitama to vrindavan govardhan even but he is there not obeying you much no no love for then what is this this is described by sarvashila uh, bhakti arno yes but i got in tomorrow tomorrow bogasto no <laughs> you know upai vak chinde ta suki jay pata jodi vaishno apara uthe hathi mata upai vak chinde ta suki jay what is the meaning बिकॉज For them, oh, they think, they think. Oh, he doing sastam pranam, hundred eight times at a place and with Govardhan Parikhe, so many years. Oh, how oh, is right? But he has really no faith in Guru Vishnu and his disciple. Oh, what I am doing? They can. My Guru never did it. What I am doing? Swami he never did. Oh, first time to pronounce one hundred eight. But I am doing. I am doing this jala ekasi, but he cannot do. He never did. Oh, this can appreciate. But he is so favorable. If not favorable, no bhakti is. But if you are bad person, it may be. But I think. No, nothing, nothing, nothing more. No life there. So bhakti no thakur and Sri Lanka no sami thakur. Why does they they all very don't criticize them in drink. Drink. If in drink comes, then what do you do? Then get go to river. Go to ocean and forgiveness will be there. Anuttar will be there. The penetration. The kriti sadhya, bhavit sadhya. You are empowering by your all senses. I tell you, and not doing a para. Even by your nose. साधन भक्ति बट यू शुड नो दैट हाउ आर ट्रेन इज नॉट ए थिंग टू बी ऑप्टेन बाय साधन इट इज नीड द सिद्ध What is how this should be? For who, which is the aim and object of sadhan? Sadhan. What is? What is that? Shuddha sattva, vishesh atma. No? 
नित्य शुद्ध सबका प्रेम विशेष आत्मा प्रेम जिसकी सत्ता है और लाइक वी एग्जिस्ट फ्री एग्जिस्ट दिस हाउस एग्जिस्ट द बॉडी ऑफ कृष्णा और एनीथिंग ऑफ गुरु बंदा बन बाय कुंज और सब सत्ता की मैटेरियल सत्ता है इस त्रिस वन ट्रांसडेंटल बंडीज सत्ता इस मल्ली विष्णु प्रतीति एंड समथिंग नॉट प्रतीति एंड सुधा सत्ता दरक टू टाइम्स ऑफ सुधा सत्ता Even the associates of eternal associates of associates of Krishna, and in them, certainly more transcendental, certainly more of Krishna. Oh, this is called Shuddha Shakti. Where it is, Nitya Shuddha in the associates of eternal associates in Mother Jasoda, in Subhadra Shuddha. and by following them practicing by the method process told by the gurusmani or it will come here where smith the sita bhav here also to nit the sita bhav there also and here where in the transcendental constitution of Sat Ji, also. We all have somebody, a spiritual we have, and that is called Vikar O Maya. Now we are thinking that we are this this kind, and related things all. But Krishna is mine. And the second one, this is so any of the kinds of dasya, sankha, asal, any of these, oh, we have body like this. If you read the book of. महाप्रभुस्टोटिंग Only potency is there, and like he gave an example that there are various kinds of seeds, and you can, in the same soil, on the bank of Gange, and water is same water, or the same sun is giving it light. Everything is. And some gardener plants and supports and this. But what will be only what the seed has potency? Only that will come. Tamarind like tamarind, mango like mango, 
skip this series of other things. Neem tree, jackfruit, manni devi. So, also like a, an example. Uh, you know in C, Parmasar there. At that time, if in the constellation of Swati Nakshatra, water falling, same water, if it will come in banana tree, it will be cancer. If it will come in the elephant food, then it will be vegetable. If cow, then then so, the potency is in water or in the, the object, in both, without the help of that rain, they cannot prevent. But it will come far is the, in the potency. So, Shadak maybe 4,000 and so much. But he is followed anyone. Ragatmik Jan. By Rav is in their Atma. To Sarva Krishna they are certain. And if any Sarva fall in them. Strictly. In the process of root motion. Then Nitya Siddha Bhav in Sarva they fall. Oh, it will. Understand? Can you define why? You are writing also. Why? Why? No harm. Nitya Siddhasya Bhavasya Prakatam Ridhi Shadhya Who will? Who will do? I can try. Fools rush in where angels perch. Mm -hmm. So you were describing you were describing that uh, depending on the nature of the object where the rain is falling, uh, different same rain. Same rain, but because different seeds. Here you get mango, here you get jackfruit, here you get neem. And then you also describe that during a certain nakshatra, swati nakshatra, the rain is coming, but if it falls on elephant, produces one elephant pearl. And if it uh, falls on oyster pearl, if it falls on banana leaf, and camphor, if it falls on deer musk. So depending on the object, uh, different I don't know, results. results will manifest. And it is important to have both. Because without the rain, okay. can, nothing can be manifested. And but if there is no, nothing in there, oh, a rain cannot do anything. So both are needed. So lit the ship the hall, both here also, there. And when they will be together, then oh, they, our nitya is the power. Try to digest up till now, or up to this point, and we will discuss it now. Very important.